Okay, we need to talk here about how to install brackets and how to install the extensions that you're going to need for brackets. If you're going to install brackets, you simply come to the brackets website at brackets.io. So that's brackets.io. And just click right here to download. And the download will automatically detect whether you're on Windows or Mac. So you'll get the right version either way you go. Totally free. Don't expect to have to use your credit card or anything. This is totally free. Just download it and install it on your computer. Once you get it installed, then you're going to have a window that when you open it, it's going to look like this. This is the brackets window. Here we have the pane where we will be editing code. Over to the left, we have a navigation pane where we can open different pages or create new ones. Then at the very top, we have a traditional menu with file, and this is where we're going to come to find the extension manager. And so if you'll click on the extension manager, it'll open up here on your screen. And while it's opening, by the way, notice over on the right side of brackets that there's a little icon that looks a little bit like a, a Lego. And that is also a quick link to the same extension manager. When it opens, it's going to give you a list of different extensions that are available, but you don't want to browse through this. You're going to click here on the different installed brackets, and you can see right now that I have none. So I'm going to go back to available. The first extension that we want to download is Emmet. E-M-M-E-T, just the Emmet extension. Now there's two showing here. The reverse Emmet you will not need. The Emmet extension here has a date of April the 8th of 2015 and that's the one we're going to want. So click install. And When you click install the installation manager comes up. You can see that it's working. It's downloading a zip file and installing it into your computer so it'll work here with brackets. While I'm doing this, notice the very top of the menu bar. It did not have Emmet, but if you back the video up just a bit, you'll see that Emmet just popped in here as soon as that it was made available. Let's close this. So now when I click on Installed, you can see here that Emmet is now an installed extension. Go back to Available. The next extension we need to install is Brackets Beautify. So I'm going to type in that search string brackets beautify and you can see it right down here last update of 2015 there's another one called beautify and probably either one of these would work it's just that I've been using brackets beautify you can try the other if you'd like it has a more recent date on it but I'm just going to go with brackets beautify install and the installation successful. The next extension that we're going to need is going to be our W3C validator. And so we're going to type here, let's just type W3, and we're going to get the W3 validation by this uh, character called UMOXFO, UMOXFO, I guess. Don't know what his name is really, but we can see here that the extension date here is 4-23-2018. This is a really good, reliable one, and there are others. If you search through here, you're going to find other extensions for code validation. But let's just go with the one by Umoxfo. And if you, at the time that you're installing this, this particular validation extension has changed over time. I think a couple of years ago in this class that this one went out of use for a while and another one was available. And so when you're looking for an extension by name, look for something that you can search for like W3C validation or maybe you just do a search on validate and see what you come up with here. That didn't show me anything. How about validator? And see, here's another one that we used to use for a while. It has an extension date of 2014. 
but the one that is tied to the W3C is the best one that I would suggest right now. Use it if you can. If you can't find it at all, then go with that other one. So I'm going to click here to install. There we go. So we'll close this. So what I want to do is show you the ones that I've installed, brackets Beautify, Emmet, and W3C Validation. You'll see Emmet up here on your menu, but you won't see the others on your menu. Those will come up whenever you do a right click. So I want to show you here about themes. Themes are the, the appearance of Emmet as a whole. I'll be honest with you, I'm gonna close this for a second. This is the way that you're gonna see nearly everything that I copy and paste over into the Blackboard instructions. If I give you screenshots, it'll be from here. When I'm working at night though, I try to change my theme to a darker theme. And I'll, you may see sometimes that I will send you code that has a dark background. A lot of computer programmers find it easier at night to work on a dark background, but you can change it to anything that you want right here in the theme changer. But I'm going to suggest to you that, let's see, here we go. I'm going to go to File, and we'll come back down to Extension Manager, and here to Themes. The extension that I actually use at night will be one that is called Monokai, M-O-N-O-K-A-I. The, it's the Monokai, Monokai, and let's see here, which one is it? Well, we'll just go with this top one here. Doesn't really matter, because I'm really not going to install it right now, but I want to show you something. There are times that you may have problems with downloading an extension. You may click on install and it will pop up and give you an error message that says we can't install this right now. I haven't had that problem in a long time, but if that does happen, let me show you what to do. Let's say for instance, I've tried to install this Monokai CoRail UR theme and that it won't install. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this and I'll just minimize brackets for just a moment. There is on the brackets website an extension right here called extensions. So if I come here, this is a list of all of the extensions that are available for brackets. So I could just come here to the top and then control F so that I can do a search of this entire page and I will type in Monokai and so here is a list of monokais. It shows me that there's 46 listed. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to select one and just download this straight to my computer. So I click on the name, and I don't know if you can see it or not. Here we are, lower left corner. You can see that my Chrome browser has downloaded a file called Mono Monokai, and it's a zip file. And so if I have brackets open, let me open brackets again, and I'll open up the extension manager. I'll use the little Lego icon. There we are. This is an alternate way to find and install extensions if you have trouble. You can just click on your download file. All right, so there's the file, and here is my extension manager and I just want to take and drag, left click hold, drag and drop that zip file right on top of where it says drop zip to install. Notice how the icon changes when I move it right over that. So click it right there and installation is successful. So you can either install by searching and then telling it to install or you can find the extension here in the extension manager on brackets, download the file, get your zip file, and then drag it over and drop it right on top of the button down here. So this is how to install the brackets and then how to get help if you uh, can't install them through the extension manager, how to go to brackets and download them and install them manually.